By putting yourself out there online, you open yourself up to a lot of criticism. How do you deal with the critics? Deal with the critics. This is interesting. Uh, I had a, I've had a number of haters over the years, and uh, at first, you know, I'm, I, I still have probably a pretty big ego. It's. I've, I've trained myself to get a lot better at it, but when you're playing football, you just have to have an ego. Um, otherwise, you can't go on the step on the field if you don't think you're the best uh, person in the world. You're, you're the best wide receiver, the best person in the world. If you don't have that mentality, you're going to get beat. So I've learned to kind of strip my ego and not get as defensive when people start to attack me uh, every year, and I've gotten better at it, but still, it's still definitely there. Um, when I first started getting haters online, people would just like attack me and say whatever they wanted to say. I would attack back and it was not good. It was not good because I looked stupid. I looked ignorant. I didn't look educated. And I really just made a fool of myself publicly in front of the world. Uh, but I've learned and I've grown. And I realized that I think Seth Godin told me one time, he said, you know, uh, if you're not, you're not, you're not doing anything right if you don't have haters. So you've got to have haters in order for you to know that you're doing something right, that you're disrupting an industry, that you're creating change and all that good stuff. So when he told me that, I started to think about it more and say, you know, it's all right. I had a, I've had a guy recently who wrote uh, an article just about me on his blog, pretty much saying how everything I've said is wrong and how he tried things different and how he's doing better or whatever. And he keeps tweeting at me and saying, uh, make sure to make sure not to what's he saying? Something like make sure to share this article with your followers before you lie to them about how to build a business or something. It's just ridiculous stuff. And, you know, part of me wants to really respond to this guy and just be like, you're a loser. But it's not even worth my time or energy anymore because um, it's just not worth it. So. And I'm going to assume that I'm going to get more and more of those haters every single day. And that's just letting me know that I'm doing something right uh, by pissing people off, I guess. <clears throat> as long as, you know, 99% of the people that I uh, that respond to me are positive and I'm serving them and I'm and I'm giving them great value in their life and their business, then the haters can are, are OK. Mm -hmm.